hard to introduce him. Uh, one might start with the degrees he holds, and they are many, uh, with the schools he has taught at, and they are several. Most recently, he was the Bandy Distinguished Professor of Preaching in New Testament uh, at the Canberra School of Theology. Uh, he is an ordained minister in the Disciples of Christ Church. Uh, many of you have had an opportunity to hear him preach at Cherry Log Christian Church uh, in Blue Ridge. What a, what a treat that is. Uh, we could talk about the books he has written. Uh, I have lost count. It is approaching 20, I believe, books on preaching, on the church, commentaries, uh, at least commentaries on Luke, John, and Philippians. Uh, if we were to try to list the distinguished lectureships, I uh, would be here all morning because every school worth its salt has had Fred Trask <laughs> come and give distinguished lectures. Of course, we're included in that group. That's the mention that he gave the Bill Self preaching lectures here in 1999. Hard to believe it's been 12 years now. In truth, he needs no introduction. So uh, it is a pleasure to welcome him again to the McAfee School of Theology. I hope you noticed that following the beautiful anthem, how can I keep from singing? He's going to be preaching on quiet, please. Teaching. 
Well, I didn't either. <laughs> When I was at Vanderbilt, one of the professors preached on Acts chapter 20, Paul's farewell to the elders of Ephesus and Miletus. Actually, the sermon was on the statement of Jesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. But this is the way the professor started. I want to preach today on a portion of the book of Acts. The writer of this particular section says that Paul said, that Jesus said, <laughs> that it's more blessed to give than to receive. I didn't know whether we were being made fun of or that was serious or what it was, but I do know sometimes, sometimes a student in seminary can distance that seminary and that church where the student is serving by cute remarks and cynical remarks, pick out something ugly that was said or done, and then parade that before the people. I hope you get rid of all that with this project. It'll be difficult. But I really, I really think the thing that uh, struck me most is we can get rid of this uh, not, you're not letting the churches in on our education. No longer will they be in on our education. They are part of our education. They are part of our instruction. They are part of our teaching. But so many ministers withhold their good stuff for their select friends Amen. and serve the lay folk the same old ball peanuts. <laughs> Amen. It is my conviction that you should share the best of your scholarship, the best of your learning, the best of your knowing and doing to the smallest little church in the most remote area. They are deserving of it. You don't save the good stuff for your colleagues. But enough of that. I really was most attracted by the imagination expressed Center for Teaching Churches. I said that several times and didn't know what I was saying. You say it to yourself, and how do you how do you say it? Center for Teaching Churches. Is it Center for Teaching Churches? <laughs> Or is it Center for Teaching Churches? <laughs> you need to take notes. This is subtle. 